Hey guys and thank you for joining me for this macOS Sequoia video. If you have been using Sequoia for a while, you may have noticed that it runs a little bit slower or lagging. In this video, we will discuss how to speed up macOS Sequoia. Before we get into, as always, hit that subscribe button. Let's go! The first tip I'm going to show you is to reduce startup programs on your Mac. When you boot up, you'll notice that some programs automatically start right away, like Google Chrome or others. Often, they're unnecessary, but they take up a lot of processor power, slowing down your Mac. The way to solve this is super simple. Go to your system settings on the upper left. Once open, go to the general tab and then to the area says Logan items and extensions. Look at the open at Logan section. These items will open automatically when you start up. Simply delete the apps you don't want launched and running. Then you can save up a lot of space that could be used for other things when you boot up your Mac. Tips 2. Turning off a background item. Next look below. There are many things that will perform tasks behind the scenes without you knowing. So disabling some of these will actually help with some performance improvements. Tips 3. Close or remove resource hogging apps. If Sequoia is still running slowly on your Mac, go to your activity monitor and look for power-hungry apps or processes that are using too much CPU or memory. So click Command and Space. Type in Activity Monitor. Then you can switch between the options above such as CPU, memory, and energy. See which programs are taking up most of the CPU. Then go to the top middle section. Click Stop to quit the app. Tips 4. Adjust visual effects. All those animation features, screensavers, and live wallpapers look lovely, but they also consume memory, CPU, and GPU cycles. Turning off some of the features can greatly speed up iMac or MacBook. Go to System Settings, Accessibility, Display, and reduce motion effects if they are causing lag. We can also go to the Desktop and Dock section, turn the magnification off, and then you won't see this effect. Next to the Minimize Windows using Option, change the Genie effect to the Scale effect, and disable the Animate Opening Applications and automatically hide and show the dock. Tips 5. Update your Mac, OS, and hardware. It's also important that you run the most recent version of Sequoia, as this will also be optimized and include bug fixes. To check for updates to Sequoia, open System Settings and choose General, Software Update. Wait for it to check, then follow the instructions on the screen to install an update if one is available. Next, go to the App Store Updates section to update apps. Tip 6. Free up disk space. Generally speaking, it's best to keep your max disk space at around 10 to 15%. The more disk space you have, the better your Mac will run. Then we need to spend some time looking through your Mac. Open Finder. Delete the files you don't need. Then go to Applications and delete the apps you don't need. Don't forget to clean up the recycle bin. Then you may actually find an improvement to your speed. Bonus, recover the deleted files from recycle bin. What should you do if you accidentally delete important files while cleaning up disk space and you also clean up the recycle bin? Don't worry, 4DDIG will be your savior. 4DDIG Data Recovery is a professional software that can scan your Mac and find out any lost data even if you empty your trash. The data recovery process is also very simple, only three steps. Once installed, open it. First select the location where you lost your files and then scan it. Select the types you want to scan. 4D Dig starts to scan and find all possible data from the drive. Once done, click recover and save it to a different location. Now, your files are back on your Mac again. Okay, that's all for today. If you have any questions, you can leave your comments below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to us. See you guys in the next video.